I'll do it. Okay. This is maybe the hardest one we'll do. The hardest algebra. This is when we get the gases, this is called Boyle's Law. Called what? Boyle's Law. Boyle. Boyle. Named after a person. Boyle's Law. Pressure and volume are inversely related as the pressure goes up, the volume goes down. Here's the example. Let's say we start with one atmosphere pressure and a volume of two liters. What is the new pressure? Ah, let's do different. Let's say we increase the pressure to four atmospheres. What is the new volume? Can you solve for that? What's the new volume? Two liters, thirty-eight. No. Nope. No. All right, we'll do A. Uh, let's do some multiple choice. You said they're inversely related. Hold on. Shh. Come in the atmosphere. Gases. Okay. That's four. That it's not four. It's not four. It's not four. It's not four. Or I should put, I should probably make it two. Dude, the board doesn't like you down here. How's that? Y'all ready to vote? Ready, set, vote. One, two, three, or four? A, B, C, or D? Ooh, we have a variety of answers in here. All right, multiply these two numbers together. One times two is? Two. And then we're going to divide both sides by four atmospheres. This looks just like our cross multiplying did, doesn't it? No. Yeah, it does. After we cross multiplied, we had something that looked just like that. We did. And all we have to do is divide here. So four atmospheres goes away. Atmospheres goes away. Two over four. 0 0.5 liter. Ah. If you can't solve this, you might want to review a little bit of this in chapter one. Okay. Yeah, but what if the numbers were like 2.5 and 4.7? Yeah, but can you divide 2.5 by 4.7? Yeah. All right. See you guys on some of you lab. I'll see you tomorrow. If I don't, then I'll see you guys next Wednesday, right?